Before we get right into the video, I wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Pioneer DJ. Pioneer DJ makes some of the world's best DJ equipment and they hooked me up with their new HDJ Q1 Bluetooth headphones. Let me tell you, I've been vibing out with these headphones. The sound quality is amazing. It's extremely immersive and high quality. They're lightweight and comfortable and you can even grab a color pack to customize the earpieces as well as the cable. I usually like rock and mine wireless with the Bluetooth connection, but I do like the retro vibe of the cable sometimes. Like I said, these are a very stylish, lightweight, and versatile pair of headphones. These headphones also come with a built-in mic so you can take your phone calls, FaceTimes nice and easy. I have been vibing out to some tunes while skateboarding around, while doing chores in the house. They are definitely a solid option for the subway. If you want to up your music listening game, grab yourself a pair of these Pioneer DJ headphones at the link in my description. Thanks again Pioneer DJ for sponsoring this video and now let's get to the vlog. There's this new edible ledge at the skate park. <laughs> oh my good god. What is good YouTube? My name is George. Welcome to another video. Today is a beautiful fall day at Thomas Green Skate Park where they have a brand new rainbow curb. Should be looking like a snack. As soon as I saw this thing, I knew I had to make a video with it. It is just too pretty and it looks too fun to skate. So in this video, we are going to be going over five easy slappy tricks that you can do on a curb. And let's get right into it. Trick number one is gonna be a slappy board slide. For this one, you definitely want a curb with a drop on both sides, such as a parking block. So for this one, I roll up to the curb with my feet extremely wide, pretty much on the nose and the tail. All you gotta do is lift up your front so that your front wheels clear over the curb. Once your board makes contact with the curb, you want to center your weight. So push down so your wheels lift up. Pretty much just get up there, balance, get centered, look down. You're gonna start sliding the board side. The dismount can be a little tricky. It's definitely easier if your curb has an end to it like this one. Then you can just put the back wheels down and pivot it out. Take it slow, get in one, balance it up there, see what it feels like. You're gonna figure this one out pretty easily. Next trick is the slappy nollie lip slide. Now this one actually might be easier than the board slide. I pretty much approach this with my feet on the nose and the tail again. Then you just start to pivot on that nose, place your board on the curb, and you pretty much automatically end up in a good sliding position for this one. Just stay centered, cruise it out till the end of the curb, and then you can pivot out at the end. Now a trick I thought of that's actually really fun and very similar to the nollie lip slide on a curb is a nollie tail slide. You literally just give yourself some more distance to the curb so that when you do that 90 degree nollie pivot, you want your tail to be right where the curb is. And then just put your pressure on your tail, you're gonna start sliding. The nollie tail is one that can definitely work on a normal curb. You don't need space on both sides like on a parking block. Nollie tail is one that can work pretty much anywhere. Next trick, I don't really like this one too much, but I wanted to throw it in there because it is fairly easy and it's the slappy nose slide. So this one is extremely easy to learn at a big angle. So come at a fairly direct angle to the curb, feet on the nose and tail once again, and then literally just ride until your wheels hit the curb and then shift your pressure to the nose. That's pretty much all this trick is. Over time, start to increase your angle so you're actually going with the curb. And as you increase your angle, you are gonna have to sort of shimmy into the nose slide to enable you to slide this one but I'm confident you can figure it out I prefer to exit this one to fakie just because if the side of the curb isn't really waxed your wheels might stick to it and it's much easier to just plop out to fakie next trick this is my favorite slappy trick of all time. This trick has the potential to brutalize your trucks. When I first started learning the slappy crooked grind, I did it so much on this chunky curb that I actually snapped my independent trucks right on that crook divot. So just keep that in mind, but I definitely think it's worth it. This trick is so much fun. So you want to approach the curb for this one at a 45 degree angle with your feet on the nose and tail. I, I guess that's my setup for every slappy trick. It just kind of enables you to hop up on that curb. Now for this trick, it can seem like kind of like magic how your wheel gets up on the curb but really what's happening is you start to kind of lean back and a bit on your toes that's going to give you the leverage so that actually your front wheel 
can literally do a, a small wall ride up the curb and that's gonna lock you right into that slappy crook. If you do this right, you're gonna feel your wheel right up the curb, you're gonna be locked in. If you're sitting back, you're just gonna start grinding the crook and grinding. God mother car alarm d Oh, we're good. <laughs> this concept of the wheel riding up the curb is key and I think it's worth figuring it out. Really try not to pop on your back foot. You don't need to. Just experiment with leaning your weight on your toes, shifting back and just allow that wheel to ride up the curb. This one is definitely easier to get out to fakie at first I think. Just because you don't have to do the whole pop out you can kind of just flop out the slappy crook to fakie. Over time I definitely recommend trying to give it a little nudge out make it look really steezy. And actually while filming these tricks, I got inspired to try to learn my first front side slappy crook, which is a trick I've wanted for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get a slappy front crook in this video. For this Whee! Maybe not. No, oh, I gotta learn that right now. actually the first slappy front crook I've ever done. Since I am so genuinely excited about the slappy back crook, Danny has absolutely no idea what he's doing with this trick and I'm gonna try to at least get him to lock into a slappy crook because once you could do that, you could, you could land the trick. Set up wide and you're gonna approach the curb at 45. Once you get here, you want all your weight to go onto your toes and onto your back foot. So you're kind of like, so as I approach, I shift my weight back and I take my weight off of my front heel. So it's like, See how I already kind of like went diagonal? Yeah. And you want this wheel to ride up the curb. That's like your main focus. So easy to get into. I can't do that. It really makes like no sense to me. Take a big angle. Put your foot all the way up on the nose. Yeah, all right. You already got into one. I told y'all, you're gonna learn Slappy Crook. It's worth it. One pro tip I just thought of for every single slappy trick is that you want to think about your board as being glued to your feet. Your feet aren't moving for the entire trick. Any type of popping that you do, any type of crazy, weird, sudden motions, it ain't it. You want your feet glued exactly where they are as you get into the trick. There's no glue, <laughs> so how do I do this? <laughs> My eyes deceive me. Did Danny just land a slappity boopity boop? Right, so I'm just gonna take that one that I landed. It was a little bit sketchy. It wasn't perfect, but I guess it does kind of go to show that you can just land a slappy back crook in one day. It was like, what, 10 minutes maybe? Yeah, nice job, bro. Thank you. I can't emphasize enough, this slappy crook is a hell of a lot of fun. Once you figure out the concept of riding up the curb, it becomes very easy and it unlocks other slappy tricks like the next one, which is the slappy backside 50-50. So there are definitively two different ways to do this trick. I like to do it with the front foot first. If you think about it, if you've nailed the slappy crooked grind, all you have to do to get into a slappy back 50 is get into a slappy crook and then just place the back truck down. And that's actually exactly how I think about this trick. Then if you just take that faster and faster, it's gonna become so quick over time that you don't even really notice that you're doing a slappy crook to a back 50. It just becomes one fluid motion. And I think it's so cool how interconnected this is to the slappy crook. Now there is another way to do it where you actually go back truck first. And this one I have a lot more trouble with. You could see I approach this trick much more slowly. I maybe look more awkward because I don't quite know how to do this one right. If I'm going to put my back truck on first for the slappy back 50, I like to take a bigger angle and I actually do think about the curb as a quarter pipe. I'm kind of going up at it as if it's a coping, but you really have to like aggressively shove your back foot up so that your wheels get onto the the curb. When I make contact with the curb, I really throw my weight up on top of it, and that's the key. You really have to commit to getting your weight up on top of the curb, and that's how these tricks are going to work out for you. I definitely prefer the front truck. I think it's much easier to get the wheel up that way. Try these both out. See which one is more comfortable for you. They're both fun in their own way. That don't make any sense. Oh, shit, bro. Yeah, yeah.
what have we here? So we got Danny so excited learning the Slappy Crook, he realized that that's how you learn the Slappy 50, that our boy wants to try the 50. So let's see what you got, fool. First tizzle. That's the motion though. Put that back down and that's it. Blow that back out. I mean. <laughs> I'll blow that back out. Yes! Dude, that was proper as hell. My uh, fucking man. Going. That was hell mad yeah. proper, dude. Sick. And that brings us to the last trick. This one I find extremely tricky. It is the slappy frontside 50-50. In terms of slappy grinds, I think backside is so much easier. When you have to actually shift your weight to your heels and let your toe side up, I feel like I have way less control. But that's what you need to do for the slappy frontside 50-50. I like to approach the curb at a fairly large angle. That's the only way I can really get my trucks on top of the curb. And I really lean intensely onto my heels because that's gonna lighten up that front toe slide wheel so much that it allows it to actually ride up the curb. I'm really leaning back on it and then I kind of throw my front truck onto the curb first just like how I do those slappy back 50s and then I follow by lifting my back foot up on top of the curb. This one I definitely struggle to get into like getting that front wheel to ride up is very tricky with the slappy front side 50-50. With this trick in particular sometimes I cheat just a little bit and I will push down on the back just a smidge to assist my front wheel in getting up on top of the curb. Yeah, and I ended up trying a slappy front side nose grind, which is the same concept, throwing that front truck on. She got into it, which surprised me, and then I busted my goddamn ass. He needs some milk! Are you good? Yeah. Ah. I just busted my fucking shit. I hope you learned something from this video. I encourage you to go out right now. Find yourself a curb. They're everywhere. See what you can do with these tricks. They are so much fun. And thank you so much for watching. Yo, Danny, I'm outroing. Real quick. Danny and I found out actually that one year ago, almost to this day, we did a five tricks video collab at this very damn skate park. You were almost at 1,000 subs. No, I had like 500. Now this is a full circle moment where Danny's almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty nuts. <laughs> well, can y'all just get me to 10k? Alright, thanks for watching. Shred on. Catch y'all on Friday. I'm gonna try to take one to regular now. Nah, f*** that. <laughs>